Welcome back. Today we're going to continue to talk about apostrophes and possession. If you're using the textbook, the textbook that I'm working out of is Communication Skills for the Processing of Words. It's the fifth edition. If you're in the Daily Vitamins, then we're going to go through day 18 through 20 with this video. Okay. And it's Unit 6 if you're in the textbook as well. We'll be talking about uh, possessives and we'll also uh, end our apostrophes and talk about contractions. When we talk about possessives still, I like to uh, use a little bit different instruction than the textbook gives. So if you prefer, you can take a look at the textbook and how they describe it or uh, to learn how I like to use it, of course, watching the video. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I prefer to consider when we are needing to set to show possession if it is singular. So if the item that needs to show possession is singular, then to show possession, I will add an apostrophe S. If the item that needs to show possession is plural, then I need to know if it ends in S or other than S. If it's plural and it ends in S, then to show possession, I will add only the apostrophe. If it's plural and ends in something other than S, then to show possession, I will add an apostrophe S. Okay, let's take a look at how that holds true on these uh, sentences or these examples. The actress's interview was held after her Emmy nomination. So we have one actress and that means it's singular. And so to show possession of a singular, we add apostrophe S. Lewis's grades improved with the help of his counselor. Lewis is singular, so to show possession we add an apostrophe S. Okay, let's write our little key here. So if it's singular, to show possession we add an apostrophe S. If it's plural, ends in S. To show possession we add an apostrophe. If it's plural, ending in other than S, then to show possession, we add an apostrophe S. I heard that Agnes's car couldn't be repaired. Agnes is singular, so to show possession, we add an apostrophe S. The newspaper reported that the Countess's jewels were stolen. Countess is singular, so to show possession, we add an apostrophe S. During transit, the box's cover was damaged. Box is singular, so to show possession, we add an apostrophe S. Dolores' brother just left for a three-week trip to Africa. Dolores is singular, so to show possession, we will add an apostrophe S. The majority of the members voted for Alex's re-election. Alex is singular, so to show possession, we'll add an apostrophe S. Okay, and that holds true uh, with our rule that if it's singular, then to show possession, all we have to do is add an apostrophe S. So it doesn't matter when it's singular what it ends in. Only if it's plural does it matter what it ends in. Okay, now we're going to talk about joint and separate ownership. If something has joint ownership, then they're going to uh, share ownership of something. They're also going to share how they show ownership. If they have separate ownership of something, they're also going to uh, have separate ways to show their ownership. So we'll still follow the rule that if it's singular and 
needs to show possession, then we will add an apostrophe S. If it's plural, ending in S, needs to show possession, we'll add an apostrophe. If it's plural, ending in other than S, needing to show possession, we'll add an apostrophe S. Okay. Raw and Freddy's printer is portable. Here we know that they share possession of one printer because there's only one printer listed. Anytime they have joint possession, they share possession. I told you they would share how they show possession and that possession will only be shown on the last one and that will mean that they're sharing the, how they show possession. The last one listed is Freddie. Freddie is singular so to show possession of singular then we add apostrophe S. Rawls and Freddie's printers are portable. Here they each have a printer so they will each show possession of a printer. Rawls is singular or raw is singular, so to show possession, we'll add an apostrophe S. Yes. Freddie is also singular, so to show possession, we'll add an apostrophe S. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look at those examples. Have you found the keys to Camille and Sean's home? Because there's one home, I can tell that they share possession. When they share possession, they'll share how they show possession and possession will be shown on the last one listed. Sean is the last one listed, so that's how I'll show possession. Sean is singular, so to show possession of the home, I'll add an apostrophe S. Yes. Oswald and Habib's promotions were expected by their colleagues. Oswald and Habib do not share possession of the promotions. They each um, have possession of a promotion so they'll each show possession. So Oswald is singular so to show possession of the promotion is apostrophe S. Habib is singular so to show possession of the promotion it's apostrophe S. So Oswald's and Habib's promotions were expected by their colleagues. I will feed Deborah and Luke's cat during their absence. So Deborah and Luke share possession of one cat so we will only show possession on the last one listed. Last one listed is Luke, which is singular. So to show possession, we'll add an apostrophe S. Yes. Today is Sari and Garth's 10th anniversary. Sari and Garth share possession of the 10th anniversary. So they will share how they show possession. Will it be shown on the last one listed? Garth is the last one listed, and Garth is singular, so to show possession for Garth, we'll add apostrophe S. Yes. So sorry, and Garth's 10th anniversary. Miss Bilderbeck's and Mr. Fern's spouses just met for the first time. Here they do not share possession, so they'll each show possession. Mrs. Bilderbeck is singular, so to show possession, it will be an apostrophe S. Yes. Mr. Fern is singular, so how does he show position? By adding an apostrophe S. Okay. Let's move on. Next we'll talk about contractions and that'll wrap up our apostrophes. Contractions, when we're using contractions, we'll place the apostrophe where the omission of the letter or letters occur. So we are here, we drop the A and put the apostrophe in its place. So we're sure that the report will arrive by the end of the day. Because of the weather, Anne didn't drive to work today. Here we drop the O, so that's where the apostrophe went. Okay. It is too bad that your employer could not make her plane connection so we want to change it to it's too bad. So we'll I-T, we're dropping the I, that's where we'll put our apostrophe, and S. Could not, here we're going to have could, and we'll drop the O, so that's where we'll put our apostrophe, so C-O-U-L-D-N apostrophe T. The baby would not stop crying, so would, W-O-U-L-D, 
N, we're dropping our O, so that's where my apostrophe goes, T. So wouldn't stop crying. The, his mother didn't know what to do, so D-I-D-N, we're dropping the O, and that's where we put our apostrophe, and the T, didn't know what to do. There's no doubt, so T-H-E-R-E, -E, we're dropping the I, that's where my apostrophe goes, and then S. There's no doubt in my mind that you are, or your, Y-O-U, here we're dropping the A, so that's where my apostrophe goes, R-E, innocent. I accidentally let the parakeet out of its cage. I cannot catch it. Cannot, by the way, whenever you use cannot, it's one word. And so to make it a contraction, C-A-N, here we're going to drop the N and the O, so C-A-N, apostrophe T, I can't catch it. Do not or don't, D-O-N, we're dropping the O, so that's where we'll put our apostrophe, T, doddle. Or, you are sure to miss the train, Y-O-U, we're dropping our A, so R-E, sure to miss the train. Now, when you're using contractions, especially in the South, be sure that you're using the right form, like uh, we don't go back to, instead of the baby wouldn't stop crying for would not, we don't go back to won't stop crying, um, or his mother didn't, we don't revert back to uh, don't, because sometimes um, that's, that's where we get confused when we start using our contractions. We can do it right when they're not in contraction form, but for some reason, a lot of people have trouble once they uh, move it over into a contraction. They always use the same forms of a, of a certain contraction. So make sure that you uh, probably, if, you, if that's a problem for you, you'll be best to use it without the contraction first and then change it into a contraction if you want to make it a little less ca uh, formal, a little more casual. Okay, that's the end of our apostrophes. And it's the end of day 20. Thank you.